Grace and peace be with you. This has been a challenging two years, to say the least. As of the second Sunday of March, 2022, it'll be exactly two years since we've been able to gather for worship, for fellowship, or celebrate the transitioning of loved ones with family and friends, uh, church school, you name it. We've been affected by it. With the numbers as they are now, on the third Sunday of March, 2022, we will have re-entry for worship in person. I'm excited about that. It'll be good to see you. We will have some restrictions in place. We will need to register and have verification of vaccination. We will take your temperature upon arrival. We will uh, ask that you would wear a mask for 30 days. And during this 30 day period, we will watch and hope the numbers will continue to decrease as it relates to persons who are infected. And we will consider after 30 days, uh, children and youth in worship, nursery, Bible studies, in-person gatherings for fellowship, funerals, weddings, all the aforementioned. We need your support and your prayers. You've been generous, you've been patient, and candidly, it's been tough, but the Lord has been faithful. You've been faithful, and we've, we're a stronger church and church community, I do believe because of what we've been through together. I say thank you. I say I appreciate your patience, and your prayers, and your presence. Be patient with us now as we are working on re-entry. We will continue to do things that we're doing virtually, with Sunday school and Bible studies and uh, all the other things that we've been doing. We'll continue to do that for a while. And some of it we will continue to do as long as we're here. We've learned how to do things differently and I think smarter. So we thank God for being God. I thank God for you. Pray one for another as we're still walking together by faith and not by sight. Again, third Sunday of March for our first service in person two years. God be praised. Take care. This is Pastor Jones.